Hey folks, it's May 2014. I'm working in my driveway on my Electrac E15. This is the front mounted mower deck. It has three blades. As you can see, I already had the one uh, motor taken off. I got this tractor last summer and I pulled uh, this one motor. Um, it was uh, basically seized up, so I pulled that apart to rebuild it. Um, now here's the other two motors. I already took the blades off, so you can see the blades right here. And I just want you to uh, take a listen to these. These spin uh, counterclockwise from where we're looking right now, so... I'm not sure how well that sound comes across on camera or not. But basically, it, it has a rattle, it has a... Uh, I don't know, it feels like a fair amount of resistance. I, I think what I need to do is pull these apart, take a look, and possibly replace those bearings. Okay, I just got um, motor number three apart. It was the uh, the less resistive, less noisy of the uh, the two motors that were still in the deck. I don't know how well you're going to be able to hear this or not, but listen. Well, wait for car traffic to go past. Um, so the drive end bearing here obviously has some rust on it and you can uh, you can hear the bearing it's not that super smooth quiet sound it's got a little bit of a rattle when I spin it okay I went to the hardware store and I rented a bearing puller and I got the motors apart so now I've got all three kind of more or less taken apart and let's take a look at this one um, on two of the motors the bearing on the end the uh, the upper end, the smaller bearing, was just fine. Um, looked clean, rotated it very smoothly, but on the other end, the blade end, um, was rusty. The worst of the worst looked like that. Ugh, that was a nasty one. That's the one that I pulled off last summer. Um, but what I need to do is pull this off now. So what I did was I got a bearing splitter, and that goes around behind behind that bearing and then I'm using a steering wheel puller to pull on that so I turn this to the right and that pushes that screw down and it pulls the bearing forward up and off so uh, let's see if I can do that now and I'm using uh, this crossbar here to Hold that in place because uh, you got to pry against something. And it does feel like it's moving, and I W, or uh, not WD 40, PB blasted it pretty good. Uh, ooh, that's it. There we go. There we go. Pulled that end bearing off. Okay, here's another crazy thing about working on this motor is there's supposed to be two threaded rods that come up and uh, that's what the uh, kind of the motor cap bolts into. Um, but on this motor, uh, the one that was already broken when I got this lawn tractor. So thank goodness I was able to grab the snapped off end with my vice grips and just... Uh, Turn that counterclockwise and I was able to get that out so I just rotated until I got it out of there and you're probably not going to be able to see it on video but there's a, a hole way down at the bottom so I'm hoping I can just go to the hardware store get a p replacement piece of threaded rod a little bit longer than this thread it in there and cut it to length so I'll try doing that okay what I've done now is I ran out to the auto parts store um, I went to Napa and I got a bearing 6204 to replace the bottom bearing on uh, two of the Electrac motors. So I think what I'm going to do now is just kind of clean up the shaft a little with some emery cloth. And then I think I should be able to just tap the bearing right on and then uh, should be able to reassemble the first motor. Okay, this is the armature for the third motor. I just slid the new bearing on the end. It's got to get pressed on there, but I don't have a bearing press. But I do have a uh, three-quarter inch socket, which fits nicely over the drive shaft. So what I'm going to do is just set it over the end, 
and then I'm just gonna take the whole thing and slam it down on a piece of scrap wood and that should press the bearing right on. Here we go. That's it. Okay, so it looks like I got the first motor all rebuilt and put back together except for the end cap. And I've got it hooked up to some jumper cables to just go to 12 volts. And then uh, we'll see that this thing spins. And lastly, I uh, hit the motors with a coat of paint. So far I've got one coat of the, uh, the gray automotive primer and one coat of caterpillar yellow. And I'll let this dry for 20 minutes or whatever it says so on the can. Come back and give it another coat. Here we are now with the mower deck. I got the uh, motors all uh, painted up. Um, I sharpened the blades. And I've got two of the motors in. And I can't see anything in the bright sun with the viewfinder. There we go. So two of the motors are in. And I've got the blades mounted on them. So now i got to do the third motor and then do the wiring and cap them up. Okay, I've got uh, all three motors in. I've got the deck hooked up. And I have it flipped up because I just want to make sure I didn't um, accidentally cross any wiring. Um, according to the look and shape of the blades, they should all rotate counterclockwise. So I'm going to uh, flip the blades on and just ensure that they are all going the correct cutting direction. So here we go. So finally I've got the, uh, the motors all rebuilt, reinstalled, the blades in place, and I got the deck hooked up to the front lift tape and the arms and is ready to go. And I just took it for one ride around the block on my lawn and wow, works great. Um, Love the front mount, love the third blade. Um, bigger, faster than the E10. Pretty excited about this. I still got a few more things to do on this tractor. I need a uh, replacement, um, the panel. I didn't get that and also uh, no key, so I had to pull the uh, instrument panel away to uh, hot wire it. Um, so I still got to fix that. But overall, this is, uh, this is a pretty cool tractor. I'm pretty excited about this. So maybe. Uh, Let's just go for one little ride and then uh, call it quits for the day.